What's going on everybody? My name is Skip Starhopper and welcome to the channel. It's spooky month. That means we're I'm going to be playing some spooky games. So today I'm going to be playing the complex found footage, which is a backrooms game. And if you don't know what the backrooms are, it deals with liminal spaces, which is spaces in between spaces, like a hallway in between two rooms. Uh, if you don't know the backrooms lore, essentially at some, certain points in our world, you can kind of glitch through and you end up in the back rooms. Um, it's like a dimension in between dimensions. So, if you are looking for new horror genres, this kind of has to do with Liminal Space and Dream Core. Dream Core is things that you've probably seen in your dreams that are very familiar to you, but you know you've never been to, which can kind of creep people out. Uh, we got some mood lighting, just a little bit, just to get us in the spooky feels. So, uh, without further ado, let's hop into it. Begin, yes. It's so chunky. Like, it makes everything feel like Play-Doh. Can I run? Okay, I can run. So let's see. The... Is it me walking? I can hear myself walking, which... But it sounds like it's coming from other areas. Oh, what's this? God, that's loud. This camera has like the worst mic on it because you can hear all the air blowing right through it. I think that was on purpose to make it a little more scary. There's like noises while I'm walking, but I think it's me. Wait, is that different wallpaper? God, I actually hate this. I forget that I hate scary games. Right now, this is, like, stressing me. Because for those who don't know about the back rooms, there's entities in this back rooms. There's things that'll actually try and kill you. Alright, what's this? I can zoom. Well, that's odd. I mean, it is a found footage. I see some green light. I don't know if that's better or worse. You can, you guys see this flickering, right? stopped. Oh, that's 
me zooming out. Jesus. The noises coming off of the camera is just... It's so jarring. Because it sounds like there's things all around me. Like there's like a... Hello. Like there's a clicking noise that comes from the camera. Big lamp. Alright, that's cool. Is that where I came from? God, this is so unnerving. Yeah, that's where I came from. Alright, we'll go this way. Hey, this would actually be a, my one of my worst nightmares, being stuck in a just a space with no one else. And one of the things about the back rooms is once you're in there, you don't need like food and water. What is what is this? God, I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't know why I played this. This is creepy. I hate this. Anyways, the back rooms, once you're in the back rooms, like, you don't need to eat or drink as often. And I don't like how the music started. What is... Oh, it's power chords. And it's believed that any entities that are in the back rooms are people who couldn't escape and basically starve but didn't die and kind of went crazy. Library? Mm, I don't like all these alcoves. Alright. To the library, I guess. I can't run. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I can see it. Wait, can I? Oh, I can crouch. Oh, I don't... No, we're... We're not doing that. I'm... I don't know why I can't run right now. Like to move faster to get away from the darkness. Okay. Yeah, it's somewhat terrifying. And there's no other way. Alright, I guess we go down into the darkness, even though I don't want to. there's some light. Oh, God, I don't... I just run into it. And we're gonna crouch. Hey, 
look at that. It's a computer room. God, I hate hated that. Ugh, the, this camera's so wonky. Like, I know it's from the 90s, and it's not supposed to be good. But it really... It's really weird actually playing it like you're in it, like you're using a 90s camera. Is this just a dead end? Okay, no, it's not. Alright, let's run through the dark. Okay, is this... God, there's some funky... No that are coming through my headphones. Big table, big chairs. I don't know if I'm actually making progress. Because I know there is an end to this game. Oh, everything's diagonal. I don't like how there's so many columns. Oh, why? Alright, and we're just running. Running towards the light. Save me, Jesus. library, so I think I want to make my way down. I'm gonna go through here. Alright. And that's creepy. Alright, that's a dead end. We're in like a gallery. statue yep looks like a statue and we're running through the dark running through the dark running through the dark hoping nothing kills me running that's weird subway. that they made for this game is so jarring. Elevator? Alright. That seems like progress. Yep. 
guess I didn't win. Alright, we're in the pool. Um, if you guys like this kind of stuff, a uh, really cool artist on Instagram, I believe it's called Onion Wave. I follow him. He does a lot of cool uh, videos that are kind of like this. Where it's kind of creepy, kind of... Uh, some of his stuff is almost like a Saw game in liminal space. It's real creepy, but it's really cool. I do not know the artist personally, but it's just someone I follow and I think does a cool job. go to the dog and I can't run. It's always concerning when I can't run. It's like just a dead end? Yeah, it looks like a dead end. So far, so good. No entities, at least yet. Can I go under the water? One of the things about the back rooms is supposedly the light is, well, I mean, it's just the lore depending on what source you get it from, um, but the light inside the back rooms follows the day and night cycle of our reality, and when it's daytime there, it's daytime here, and when it's nighttime, same thing here. And, uh... One of... Is this... Can I... No, I can't cross that. Okay. Is this just a dead end? Why is there so many dead ends? There's I don't like the noise. I don't like the noise. Through the hole? Through the hole. No, is this a dead end? I just went into a circle, so where do I go? God, I'm so confused. Okay. I I don't know. I'm so lost. And that, that's the thing about the back rooms. Is it, I don't think this game does it, but in the lore of back rooms, everything changes. Whenever a door closes, 
the rooms change. Yeah, because I went down there and that was a dead end. And then I went back that way and tried getting around that way. Maybe I missed something. Maybe there is a door this way. I don't know. Nothing on that wall. Yeah, that was a dead end. Right, so there's nothing there. Yeah, it's just a dead end. I know it's more terrifying, trudging through the water, or trudging through the water with a camera, especially from the 90s, because you know it ain't waterproof. kind of seems like there's no monsters running around, thankfully, so I think this game is just more simplistic, meant to give you a sense of eerie feeling and not so much jump scares or chasing or sense of terror. But you never know, I could just be dead wrong. Okay, so I came out here. Yes. And I went through there. And that's a dead end. So I went back that way. There's nothing... Ugh. Yeah, because that leads to a dead end. I can't go that way because it's a rail and you can't jump. I just missed it. Sweet. I'm waiting for something to be behind me when these doors close. Excuse you, sir. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Alright, cool, we made it. Easy floor. 
Fuck off. Fuck off. Nope. Go fuck yourself. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 Did I just go backwards? It's like, the one thing about the back rooms is you... Oh God, is you never know which way you're actually going. Um, if this is, if you guys are getting into this, a good creator to look at on YouTube is, I believe, Kane Pixel. Hello? One is you. Piece of furniture. A doorway? Um, yet again, not a creator that I actually know personally, but it's just someone whose content I enjoy. And they do a bunch of... Uh, back rooms. And a few other things. I, I just mainly watched his back room stuff. Why is it so loud? Are you having trouble breathing? Are you an asthmatic? Sir and or madam? Run through the dark. Jesus, is that you? Okay, well, I don't hear the breathing anymore. My cat's running around, so I'm expecting him to jump on me and scare the shit out of me. What is this? Oh, elevator. Why are you beeping? Please go. Alright, cool. Oh. My cat started knocking on the bathroom, or the bathtub, scared the shit out of me. Ooh. Spoopy. That was the first thing I thought it was. Roxanne, turn on the red light. Okay, well, I see the elevator, so we're just gonna, you know, book it, because why not? It does seem like this game is meant more for simplistic horror. Like, atmospheric, kind of creepy. Sir! Get down from there! I wonder... 
I wonder how far I can get before I hit the game wall. Sir, get... Hey! Hey! Get down! You know, let's see what's out into the abyss. Nope. Oh. That was short-lived. Alright. I guess we're not seeing what's out into the abyss. Just turn on. Oh, I think that was just my guy moving. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Jesus, I would like to go home now. Boots. Spaghetti and boots. What a combination. Oh, hey, an elevator. And if you don't know that reference, you're too young to be on this channel. Making pretty good progress. Um, yep. Am I dead? Ow. <laughs> I'm the trash man. Yep, looks like my camera made it out. Alright, well, apparently I didn't survive the back rooms. So, uh, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.